Right, so this is rehearsal video two for the three-minute monologue audition. Uh, for the purposes of this demonstration, understand that while I'm memorized, I'm going to fake being memorized. So every time you see me look off to the left, that's me pretending to check my script because you are not required to be memorized for this particular rehearsal video. You will be for the next one. Um, also, I'm going to be practicing my slate and my transition between the two pieces before I answer my questions. So, here we go. Hi, my name is John Tortolot, and today I'll be performing Piece of Hal from Proof and Prince Louis from King John. Well, I'd better go. Some friends of mine are in this band. They're playing at a bar up on Diversey, way down the bill. They're probably going on around 2, 2.30. I said I'd be there. They're all in the math department. They've got this great song. You'd like it. It's called I, a lowercase I. They just stand there and don't play anything for three minutes. <laughs> it's a math joke. Okay, yes, they're raging geeks, but they're geeks who, you know, can dress themselves, hold down a job at a major university. Some of them have switched from glasses to contacts. They play sports. They play in a band. They go on dates surprisingly often. So in that sense, it sort of makes you question the whole set of terms. You know, geek, nerd, wonk, dweeb, Dilbert, paste eater. Do you want to come? Your grace shall pardon me, I will not back. I am too high born to be propertied, to be a secondary at control or useful serving man and instrument to any sovereign state throughout the world. Your breath first kindled the dead coal of wars between this chastised kingdom and myself and brought in matter that should feed this fire and now tis far too huge to be blown out with that same weak wind which enkindled it. You taught me how to know the face of right, acquainted me with interest to this land, yea, thrust this enterprise into my heart and come you now to tell me John hath made his peace with Rome. What is that peace to me? I, by the honor of my marriage bed, after young Arthur, claim this land for mine. And now it is half conquered, must I back, because that John hath made his peace with Rome? Am I Rome's slave? What penny hath Rome borne? What men provided? What munitions sent to underprop this action? Is not I? that undergo this charge? Who else but I and such as to my claim are liable sweat in this business and maintain this war? Have I not heard these islanders shout out vive le roi as I have banked their towns? Have I not here the best cards for the game to win this easy match played for a crown? And shall I now give o'er the yielded set? No, no. On my soul, it never shall be said. Thank you. Okay. So to talk about the questions now, what do I feel good about my process? I feel really good about my memorization. Uh, I feel like I'm in a really strong place. I'm only having to check the script a little bit and I have to check the script more for my contemporary piece than I do for my classical. So that one's the, my, my contemporary is the one that needs a little bit more work. Um, I also feel really good. I feel like I really get these characters. I'm really in their head. Um, I can. It's very clear what their objectives are. You know, my I've scored out my actions. I know, like, you know, with Hal, who's you know, flattering and joking and trying to you know flirt, and versus versus Louis the Dauphin, who uh, you know is is to drive home and to remind and to underscore and to to push and to shove and to demand, right? So I've got a good contrast in my actions and my objectives there, and I, I feel I feel good about that. Um, what else? Uh, what do I know I still need to work on? Uh, my slate's rough. My slate's rough. I need to practice that. It's, it's, I'm, I'm not confident enough. And I also, I don't like that I said, uh, Prince Louis instead of just saying the Dauphin. So I'm going to say the Dauphin because it works either way, either way. Um, and for the slate, it's, I'm, I'm just going to use the Dauphin. 
Uh, I just need to practice that more. I also feel like I need to practice my transitions from slate to first monologue, and then from first monologue to second monologue. I think it would take more time. I need to really make sure I'm physically dropping in because um, I, I feel like I rushed it. Um, yeah, that, that, uh, a lot of that. What do I need to do next? Well, practicing the slate, practicing the transitions, making sure that I'm 100% memorized, uh, and really, I want to make sure that I'm I'm taking a moment to really visualize my scene partners, because I feel like that's going to help me help me stay focused, uh, help the actor stay focused, so that the character has their invisible scene partner to talk to. So that's those are my big things: slates, transitions, finishing memorizing, and you know, clear connection with invisible scene partner. So yeah, that's what I'm doing next. <laughs>